Hey all everybody, my name is El Sonic and welcome to another reaction video. Hey, and this one's Pokemon Direct. And it's funny. <laughs> While I was busy editing or uploading or trying to schedule some of my videos, like some of my VODs or whatever from my seasonal events, like winter, you know, holiday seasonal events from 2019, I noticed that there was a Pokemon Direct in the morning. Sadly, I didn't see it in time. Didn't see it live in time, but hey, here I am trying to do a recording thing, of course. I could do a full smile or, you know, blah 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 reaction to this. So yeah, like, here's my reaction to seeing this. Now I get a chance to see it myself, despite not seeing it when it was originally shown, as you see here. What is that? January 9th, 2020. That's when this Pokemon Direct happened, January 9th, 2020. I'm not going to say what day it is today, because... Yeah, I don't know. doing something else that I noticed. Like, holy crap, man, I wanted to see it. I didn't get to it in time. All right. So let's check this out. Let's get started. Let's, let's hit play. And let's see this. Here's my reaction on the, you know, Pokemon Direct of January 9th, 2020. I still got to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I'll probably be doing that as a live stream. It's like, I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but... Yeah, all right, let's go. Here we go. So... This is it, Pokemon Direct, January 9th, 2020. Let's go. Yep. Uh-oh, what was that? Did I just hit play? Excuse me. Oh, okay. Pokemon Direct. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Hello. Let's get started with the first topic. All right. Have a look at the following footage. Pokemon Direct. Cool. Sorry, I know it's constantly spamming there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's try to go back to zero. I was like, what? Where did I double click? What is this? Is this what I think it is? Dude, I haven't even played the other ones. Is it coming to Switch? Dude, hey. You're finally awake. Great. You got Pokemon talking to you. Yeah, it was since 2006. I haven't played a single one of these Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Ah, it's on the Switch, isn't it? It turned into a Pikachu! You're human Pokemon and you turn... Mystery Dungeon. Rescue Team DX. Mm -hmm. DX. You turned into a Pokemon, basically. Yep. You wake up. I remember this. Yeah. A job completed. Ah, it's RPG. I've seen these, but I never actually bought any of them. Like, I wanted to, but I could never really actually buy any of these. I had the Charizard. What was it? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. DX! <laughs> Maybe I'll get this one since on the Switch. It's been about 15 years since wow. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team were mm -hmm. released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. Could have gotten that back then, but I didn't. But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Yeah. Everything Pokemon on the Switch Dungeon style. Rescue Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. 2020? March 6. What's more, we'll release a demo Ooh. version on Nintendo eShop, available later today. Ooh, I'll probably play the demo You'll version. be able to carry over your save data to the full version of the game once purchased. Will I? So please take this opportunity to get a sample of the fun. I say a lot of things, but now, do I ever Now, for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Other topic? Alright. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. Okay, let's see it. Ooh. What the? More Pokemon yes, detail. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. I'm Sword of Shield. Hello, and I'm Amori, also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has Game been finding Freak. something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series, yeah, Pokemon so Sword cool. and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Yeah. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon around trainers, trainers around the world. I don't know. We did our best to fill yeah. these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. Whatever it's called. Forget. And the Galar region is a vast one. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. 
We'll soon be working on plans for some time, in fact. Looks like it. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield oh, Expansion Pass. There you go. Yep. Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Look Shield that. games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Let's do Until this now, game. we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Mm -hmm. This expansion pass will be different from those games. Yeah. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Hmm. Cool. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Hmm. Right. Of course. Please cool. have a look. Hey, have a look. Please have a look. <laughs> no, nah, I'm a rabbit. Ah, super funny. Ah, tells him. Oh, jeez, when they go big. Forgot what they call that. Seriously. Yes, I did. Apparently, our adventure continues. Expansion pass. So it's like you come out with DLC every now and then. And to get the expansion pass of when they release the DLC. That's what I'm assuming it is. All the expansion pass. More locations. Jeez, man. I guess. I'm oh, not mistaken. Looks like this. Dang. Shouldn't have hope. Looks like it's like looking at a theory chart. It's just console fart. All this console fart. Wow. Uh, what the? So, the gear and everything. Hmm. Gym leaders? Right? I'm not actually saying, I don't know what those are in the experience. The Ivysaur, Lastroids. Oh, the original starters. Those evolved forms. Dude. Dang. We've all formed for those Pokemon. Dude. Ah! Isle of Armor. Really? Wow, that was loud. I noticed how loud it was on OBS. I don't know if guys can hear me. How big is this thing grow? More leather season. Another castle. God. There was something about a castle in the Game Boy, like version of some Pokemon game. Or dungeons. And a castle is a building, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I sure hope it's not too loud if you hear me. I'm not saying, I don't even know how loud the audio is compared to me. Yep, more gear. Pokemon again. It's like all console fire. They're showing us console fire here. So I'm seeing The draws is uh oh. What the god. Whoa. Ah! Is we any more louder? The crown of Tundra. Dude. The Isle of Armor. Oh, part one, part two. Those are like DLC expansions. It's like a expansion, like a oh, okay, right. Like expansion, like another location in the the game, basically. Who's this guy? Hello, dude. Wow. Dang. What the hell are those? Those Pokemon. Uh oh. Ah, peace among us. I have awakened. Oh, he's like, peace among us. <laughs> what did you think of this first look? Cool. The Pokemon Sword Where? Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Spanch. Isle of Armor, planned to be released June 2020, and the Crown Tundra. 
planned to be released in fall 2020. I need to get started playing those games. If you buy the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield expansion, because I have Sword, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Let's see whether I do a video first and then a live stream. Each part offers a Probably different live adventure. Stream. Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people <laughs> and Pokemon that live there. Unless there are I do two it. versions of the expansion pass. Mm -hmm. One for Pokemon Ooh, Sword okay. and one for Pokemon Shield. Different mm -hmm. Pokemon will appear in the different versions, and you'll also run into some different people and places. That whole We're thing hoping again. players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. Now, without further ado, let's mm. have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Mr. Tani? Oh, Mr. Tani? Hello. What, director? Huh. Hello. I'm Tani from Game Freak. Hi, Tani. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Hmm. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, growth. which focuses on the theme of growth. Oh, huh. okay. Take a look. Will do. Please, like, take a look. The next destination do in your it's adventure like... is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known as the Isle of Armor. Isle of Armor. This island oh. is full of Sword, beautiful nature. Shield, you'll armor. find beaches, <laughs> bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of mm. course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there, too. Oh. Uh -huh. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. Ooh. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. Ooh. Okay. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's Mustard. also the mentor of Champion Leon. Mustard? Who you probably know quite well. In fact, Mustard ketchup? has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. Sorry. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. Oh. When playing with the Clara. Pokemon Shield Expansion rival. Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type user. Another rival. They're Avery. both training hard so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call Depends on which version you have. Hmm. A different Next, we'd like to introduce different the versions. legendary Pokemon that will be central to the story. Ooh. Hello. Kupfu. It's a fighting type Pokemon that strives to become stronger with single minded dedication. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. <laughs> I'll smack you in the face. Once you complete your training Not together happy. with Cub Fu, it will be able to cool. evolve into Urshifu. Ooh. Urshifu cool. is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. Ooh. There is Defending Single Strike style, a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single Ooh. strike and blinding speed. Ooh. Ridiculous. There is also Rapid Strike style. <laughs> uh, a fighting in water type style that what? focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. Oh god. Rapid strike. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu is a Gigantamax form. Each style no. will have a different appearance, as well as a different G-Max move. G -max. You'll be able to evolve your Cub Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles. Ooh, huh. Single Strike style or Rapid Strike style during Ridiculous. your adventure. Oops. Urshifu hey, dude. is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability. I'll do and it it also later. has a new move for each of its two styles. It just Once you've completed your training, we're going to video with here. you for some online battles or official Ooh. competitions. The guy just messaged me while I was recording here. I'm we also so want to talk about see. Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon. Final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Gala region. Hmm. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. Ah, you can look forward forms. to seeing their new forms and new G-Max moves. Man. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. Hmm. There are new fashion items. More gear. And you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Mm -hmm. We hope you look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor. Isle of Armor. I need to start playing soon. I'm not gonna say when, but I will eventually. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra. Cause I'm not gonna make any promises. Area, which has a theme of exploration. Tundra. 
crown. I'm going to show you the information armor. we have at the moment. Shield, sword. <laughs> this expansion Only. is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look oh, for yourself oh. at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. So they're the expansions. As it turns out, the Instead Isle of Armor of... isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all uh, in the gallery. I see what this is now. In this it's frigid like... area, with its towering winter mountains, another version of the games. that support and rely on each other. But Much as like an expansion. on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokemon that didn't appear in Rather the gallery before. Good. Pokemon didn't appear in Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant Ugh. tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. A Lester. certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Mm. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Calyrex. Pokemon you'll discover during your adventure. Who's Legends this? say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. It looks peaceful. Get ready to experience a never-before-told <laughs> story about the mysteries of Calyrex. Calyrex. Looks like a peaceful Crown Tundra Pokemon. will have a new form of co-op play as well. Ooh. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Dungeons? Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games oh, Dynamaxing dens. before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokemon during your adventures in the Crown Tundra. Hey! Including ones you'll be able to catch through this wow. co-op play. Hey! It also appears that some brand new legendary Ooh. Pokemon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. That's cool. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Yep. Jeez. Plus, there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We hmm. can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokemon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. <laughs> Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Galar region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be <laughs> Pokemon dens as well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Galar region. <laughs> There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor Brown. and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. I like the Crown Tundra. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned. It's like a castle with a tree sticking out of it. Was it haunted? What did you Didn't think? Say. We at Game Freak are all working Great. hard to bring you new content. So you can mm. spend more time having fun in the Galar region. Mm. Yeah. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Bye. Thanks for sharing. Oh, that was great. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Tani. Oh, On the Isle of Armor screen. and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. Oh, yeah. There will be more than 200 Pokemon species that okay. appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, nice. including the legendary Pokemon mentioned before. Oh. Additionally, we'll be distributing mm. free updates for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. So all those Pokemon that did appear These updates will allow before people who are now appearing here. Pokemon here. Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in wow. the Crown Tundra through other means such as trading. That's nice. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their games from the cloud service Pokemon Home Mm. As long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion that. packs. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. That's we like intend to Pokemon release even more thing. details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. Pokemon Vang, Pokemon Home. Oh. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield mm. players. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, <laughs> Gigantamax Lapras, 
oh, and Gigantamax geez. Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Oh. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. Mm. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Mm. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara, while in huh. Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. Yeah. You'll <laughs> also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered oh. in from the Isle of Armor. Ooh, look you can at that. try to catch it and add it to your ah. team. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian okay. Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Huh. Don't forget to check it out. Check it out. What did you think? Today, so, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are awesome. hoping to achieve going forward. We hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different adventure. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. <laughs> Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. That's cool. Stay tuned for more updates hey, in the future. Hey, <laughs> My thanks well to everyone from Game Freak. Funny. The Pokemon Sword yeah. Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo hmm. eShop later today. Expansion Pass, All right. Later today, oh, pre later today. We'll also today. be able to $3. access Nintendo eShop directly from the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield menu once you install the latest update for your oh. game. As a special purchase bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used ah. starting today. <laughs> Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. We're gonna start flaming. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing. You're welcome. Wish I saw this earlier. Ah, look at that big guy there. Ah, that, what's his name? It's like Teddy Ursa or something. What's his, whatever the guy's name was. All right. So, hey, that was it. Well, how about that? That was fun. Yeah. I liked watching that. Yep, I did. Mm-hmm. Don't know what to say about it, honestly. So they're doing an expansion, which is... I thought it was like a DLC. No, it's just an expansion. Like, more locations, more Pokemon that we didn't see before. From... Because you know how before they said not all Pokemon from previous generations are going to be all in this game? When they said that before? This looks like they're, they're, they're bringing them. They're, the Pokemon we didn't see in the Pokemon game are now in the Pokemon game through the expansions. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it sounded like through expansion passes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta start playing the game like I had it, but man, I know I do that with a lot of games. It's just, and I say a lot of things like, oh, I'll be doing this and this, but when exactly? I guess that's my own version of Valve time, you know. Valve says they're gonna like, it comes out summer and it comes out like what a year later or, or the winter fall Jeez, i don't know just i don't i don't know you know forget it i can't explain i don't i don't need to explain you know i don't need to explain anything or say anything i just need to get it uploaded and so and so you know so yeah done telling you when something's gonna happen such You'll just know and see when, when I upload it. I just kind of get uploaded. Yeah, pretty much. Whenever that'll be, I'll still do it, though, of course. So that was Pokemon Direct, January 9th, 2020. Yeah, awesome. I'm not going to say when I saw it, but it's not like I saw it like a week later after it showed it, January, uh, January 9th. I saw it like say, two or three days later when it showed up. Because I was busy with under editing uploads. That's my usual response of why I couldn't run to it. Like I said in the third vlog, things are going to be changing so I can 
so I'm able to actually schedule my videos more often or easier because I wasn't able to before, but now I'm able to. So, yeah, all right. That was a cool direct. Really cool. Yeah, I like that direct. I need to get started on Pokemon Sword, so I'll probably either do that as a recorded video or I may just do a live stream of it and then I'll just upload the export the, the VOD on the YouTube. Yeah, shouldn't be too difficult to do that. So that's, I'm sure I won't have any problems with doing that. Like, I do a most, like, I've been having problems with my past uh, seasonal event live streams in. 2019 of December. God, that was hectic. All those instances. All right, I'm just going on here. Yeah, that's that's it for this this reaction video. I show all that cool new stuff there. Yeah, right. So I gotta start playing this Pokemon Sword I have. Gotta start playing it. Gotta get started on it. So yeah, gotta get started on it. So yeah, all right. That's it. Hmm. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this reaction video in the comments down below. If you like it, do take a face and smash it in that like button. Like, oh, oh, you would just slap that naughty like what is this so naughty? Just, oh, so naughty slap it. Oh, 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 oh just, just, just hit the like button if you like the video. Really, it's all up to you. Now we can know whether or not we want to keep no, I don't know. It's just so I just let me, you know, let me know if you like or not. It's really all up to you, right? Or if you'd like to see more from me, or, or any of my other videos, like reaction videos, like more reaction videos, or my seasonal event videos, which I do now through live streams, you know, playthroughs, walkthroughs, whatever. You can subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and all that. Yeah, you can subscribe. It's all up to you, really. It's all up to you. you like to see, see more from me in the future and such. So yeah. <laughs> yep. So yeah, and with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye! <laughs> oh yeah!